session eight, the last session. Well done, guys. High five. Now, let's quickly go over absolutely everything we've done and we've learned. Are you ready? Let's get going. So we are performers. We are actors. What do we need? Absolutely nothing. Just ourselves. We are the complete package, aren't we? We are the tool. Your rock, I rock, we are rocking together. Now, we do need to do something though. We need to keep our body in top condition, right? We are a machine. We need to be completely in control over everything, right? Which means we need to control our breathing. We need to control our voice how we speak, how we articulate, the speed, right? The pitch, the, the tempo. We need to know how to stress things, which words to stress, which not to stress, how to be loud and how to be soft. We also need to know how to use our body, right? Because sometimes people have all these, really we call them involuntary, um, you know, habits, right? These are sometimes also called fillers. So things like, um, 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 right? Or things like, 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 you know, like, like, when, like, 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 yeah, or cause and stuff. All those are things that as performers, we can't have. Well, unless the character has them, but we need to be absolutely neutral and in charge, right? Just like an athlete needs to be perfectly tuned machine, we need to be tuned and flexible. And I don't mean just doing the splits. Now we need to then remember where we breathe. So it's the stomach. Obviously we don't blow into the tummy where we eat, but it feels like we're blowing up our tum tum, right? It's called a diaphragm. Some of you may remember that word. So if you want to practice that, we always, that just to remind ourselves which part of body, you know, the breath goes into, you put your hands on your lower ribs, you can feel them, and then you take a breath and you should feel your hands in, you know, moving out like this. And out, and in, and out. And you don't want to be lifting your shoulders. That creates tension, makes you look like, uh, you know, a bit of a no neck, and you can't take a deep breath. Hi. <gasps> right so we don't want to do that make sure it's nice and relaxed relax the shoulders when we are warming up we may make sure our feet are firmly planted on the floor i got a lot of you girls i know what you do a lot of you do this you take your legs and you kind of play with your legs like this and this and you kind of stand on you know you rock on your feet and you know you kind of do those things and you know like hold it like that again or like this that's a good one too but that it's not good when you're warming up your character when you're playing and acting you can do that but not when you're warming up when you're warming up you need to be completely in charge because remember you are your only tool you are what you have to work with so the breath Next thing to warm up is obviously the breath. I mean the voice, the, the voice and the vocal cords. So we need to be very gentle with them. Just gentle humming. Remember we practice on, um, you can put your leg up like this and hum. And the lips should be gently placed together and tickle, little tingle there. Hum. And we can open it gently into ma and play with going Ma Ma And we can do the siren as well. Really annoying sound. So if you want to annoy your sister or your brother, you can go I'm gonna do that to my daughters after. So Warm up the voice. We can also mix it together with the breath and go ha, 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 he, 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 ho, 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 ho. Remember the vowel sounds we talked about? You can also put the consonants, which is all the other sounds, like p, b, k, d, j, together with the vowels. And you can try the whole alphabet, right? You can do this like this. So I'll show you a few, but you can practice that. Boo, bo, ball, ba, bay, 
B K K K K K K D D D D D D You can add actions and foo fo fo fa fe fi. All right, have fun with that. Huh, annoy the family with that for a while, but only a little bit. Okay. Then you warm up the 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 muscles and the the parts of the body that actually make the words. Can you think of what they are? Come on, yell it out. I'm sure I can hear you. Somebody said teeth. Yes, teeth. Teeth. And what else? Starts with a T as well. What starts with a T? Uh, tongue, of course. And the cheeks and the lips. And even the, the part, you know, the mouth, the top of your mouth, the soft and hard palate. And even that funny thing in the back of your throat. That all is part of what makes the words. So we warm it up how? Maybe stretch your face like this. Or oh, we'll scrunch it up. Or be a blowfish. Or write your name with your tongue. This is the fun part. You can stick your tongue out during your warm ups. And no one can tell you that you're doing the naughty thing. So. Up and down Up and down and side to side. Very good. And you can sometimes also do the, you know, wet dog. Remember the wet dog? <laughs> but if you want to sometimes practice just how your voice alone makes meaning, you can try saying things in gibberish. So you can say maybe, hi, how are you? But using gibberish. I sound a little bit silly, don't I? But that's the fun part. You can be as silly as possible in drama. That's why I love it. There is absolutely nobody telling you that you're being silly because that's the fun bit, right? Silly is good. Silly is the new in. That's the thing that's just right in. That's the new fad. Be silly. Be super, super silly sausage because Miss Ford is a silly sausage sometimes. Not all the time. Remember, we don't want to be silly sausages all the time. But sometimes, just have lots of fun and warm up your imagination. We're going to finish with a tongue twister. We haven't done that one yet. It's the how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood one. Let's try that together. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And you can go on even and say as much wood as a woodchuck, woodchuck. If a woodchuck could, chuck wood. And that's the end. You've done such an awesome job. I'm sure I'll see you again. And we will do even more exciting things. But now you know how to look after your voice, how to look after your breathing, how to warm it all up, how to relax the body and prime it for performance. Because after that, on stage, you don't want to worry about your voice. You don't want to worry about your breathing. You just want to act, right? See you later, alligator. Hello, how are you guys? How's it going? Have you been having lots and lots of adventures? What have you done? Tell me, did you go on a pirate ship, maybe? What would we need on a pirate ship as pirates? What do you think a pirate needs? Hmm, yes, what do the pirate need? Quick. A sword. Oh, a sword. I like swords. Do you like swords? I got lots and lots of swords. Sometimes they have a parrot. They have a pet parrot Polly. Pet parrot Polly. That sounds pretty cool. I ate no food. That sounds so cool. All right, we've got our magic pot. The magic pot's got some questions and we're gonna do our magic run. Ready for I'm a witch. Ready? One, I'm two, three. I'm, I'm a witch. witch. Shoo. I'm, I'm a, a witch. witch. With a pointy hat, hat on, on my, my head. head. I stir myself in a cauldron. And I'm thinking of something that no. begins with the letter O. Oh, oh, can you think of something that starts with, oh, wait, what, have you got something there? What is that? Ooh, we can't see you, come on down, come on down. I think it is an octopus. Well done, can you become something that starts with the letter O? Come on, become, use your body, you can be an orangutan. Oh, monkey, I like monkeys. 
or an orange or a leaf with the scissors. This is something I want to talk about. Actually, the cauldron. Cauldron wants to talk about that in a minute. But first, something with O. O. Orange. Oh, an onomatopoeia. All right, let's go. Now, ready. And again, I'm a witch. I am a witch. Oh, with a pointy hat on my head. I so if it's her, 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 golden. And I'm thinking of something that starts with D. D. Dazzling donkey. How about that? Oh, what are you? You're shaking your bottom. You could be a doggy. A doggy cat that is masquerading as a doggy. And what about you? What can you be? You can be a dinosaur. <laughs> yes, I got a toy for having my tooth pulled. But that's okay, isn't it? Now, what else can you tell me about your toy? Maybe you had some adventure? Maybe? How do you play with your toy? Do you sleep with it? Where does it sleep? Maybe you can tell me. You can tell me a lot of things. How does it feel like? What it smells like? What it, well, is it heavy? Is it light? Does it make any sounds? Think about that. Very cool, yay. And, well, we're gonna go back in here, sit down with me, all right, on the floor. And what about we do our pot? The pot wants to know if you know any words and feelings. Oh, we could do feelings today. And magic pot. All righty. Can we go? And I'm a witch. Ha, ha. I'm a witch. Ha, ha. With the pointy hat on my head. I pour myself in the cauldron, and I'm thinking of something that starts with S, and it has to be an emotion. Can you think of a feeling that starts with S? Sad! Very good! Alright, and a witch. I am a witch, witch, witch. We are you, witch. I with a pointy hat on my head. I pour myself in the cauldron, and I'm thinking of some emotion, feeling that starts with H. Ha, 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 happy! Did you think of happy? I'm sure you did. Now, what makes you happy? Can you tell me what makes you happy? Huh? Oh, yes. Exercise makes you happy. That is true. Exercise makes all of us very, very happy. Now, I have been told, my magic pot's been telling me that you need to apparently warm up before you exercise. Can you tell me why I need to warm up? Does it mean I need to sit in front of a heater or wear lots of warm clothes or drink warm drinks? How do I warm up before exercise? Can you tell me? Yes? Maybe what sort of exercise you do when you, before you, you know, you, when you do your warm ups, do you run? Do you, what do you exercise? What do you like to exercise? Yes, tell me, what are your exercises that you like to do? Yes, tell me, tell me, I'm listening, I am listening. Good, these are all fantastic exercises. And tell me how you warm up so I can use my warm up exercises. Yes, very good. Well, why don't you go and run outside if you have a backyard or go and jump around the house. Don't jump on the bed. And I will, well, I will might see you next time, sometime in the future, you know that. I'm always watching, I'm always listening, so bye-bye. Up in the sky, makes me shy, makes me cry. No, it doesn't. Love apples. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Hey, guys. Can you believe it? It's number eight, session number eight. 888. Eight, eight. That is so awesome. Did you have fun with me and Tick? Luna, Tick, we've had so much fun with you. Number eight. Whoa, did you know why number nine? How does that go? Seven, eight, nine? You know that joke? I'm very bad with telling jokes. Maybe you're much better. You can share jokes. It's a lot of fun too. But let's remember all about clowns. Let's recap as we say. What are clowns? Clowns are playful, clowns are fun, clowns are great, they're number one, and they often, we often see them in a circus, don't we? Who's been to the circus? Me, 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 me. 
Circus is awesome. Circus is fun. Circus is great. It's number one. And look at that ringmaster in her top hat. She's as loud as she is jolly and as she is fat. Oops. She's got a big tummy. A lot of the times that's not a real tummy. They just have a padding in there to look really, really big. Clowns do that too. And clowns are playful and they are like children a little uh, they like to explore everything and we did a lot of exploring didn't we why don't we try and go to the circus and then i have a great idea what we can finish on with all right what can we see in the circus well clowns they come on a lot of the times so they're funny and strange and they do a lot of weird things what else is in the circus you've got trapeze artist so let's all be trapeze artists and whoa and whoa and really high look down whoa careful and whoa don't let go we're trapeze artists what else do you have and you've got jugglers can you juggle let's go let's see how many balls you can juggle and one i can juggle one and one and let's add another one two balls one two three and let's get more oh my goodness can you juggle juggle come on juggling juggling oh my god it all fell on my head not very good with juggling i'm sure you're better you want to try again let's juggle again let's get the balls ready and hop and hop and hop 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 juggling whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. where did they go up 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 in the sky high up in the sky very good what else can we see in the circus there are performing animals there could be doggies there are dancing doggies can you be a dancing doggy mm -hmm. scratch your ear of course sometimes they have skirts too and you have what else do you have balancing lots of balancing can you balance see balance you can put your leg out like this whoa and balancing like this and beautiful balancing can you balance whoa cool and what else there's people riding horses can you ride a horse get on your horse and riding horses riding and sometimes they stand up on the horse don't they now for the last last session i thought we could go exploring the whole planet what do you think yeah and not just that actually we can go in the space the outer space and explore different planets but first let's go and see what it's like in a dark dark cave explore our planet maybe we'll go into an underwater cave so put your goggles on and then your mouth for air and flippers right don't forget your flippers and then we'll jump in and swim how do you swim underwater right some people just swim like that and let's go into the cave whoa and look around is it dark or is it light what sort of light is it what sort of walls are there are there colorful walls maybe they're covered by pearls that would be cool wouldn't it whoa and now what if we're gonna go right to the north pole how does you how do you feel it's really cold we are right near santa's village oh but it's hiding you know he doesn't like visitors but it's really cold oh let's go somewhere else let's go exploring the space so let's go into our spaceship what's your spaceship look like mine's not very big but we need to put our helmet on and strap in two ways and we're gonna blast off Three, two, one, blast off! Ooh, wow. We're flying in space. <gasps> Can you see Earth right over there? Wow, it's so beautiful. The blue planet. Can you see space? See it? See it? Can you, can you see Earth? And there's Pluto somewhere over there in the back, which is actually apparently not a planet anymore. And there's Saturn and Mars. Wow. Oops a shooting star oh, and then an alien ship oh we better go and what planet are we gonna land on let's go i'm landing going for a landing oh finally let's go exploring what planet is this oh 
it's oh very high gravity planet which means it's really hard to move because it drags you down so you can't even lift your legs you're gonna lift them up oh can you do that can you do that it's really really everything is dragging you pulling you down and down and down and you can't even whew, it's can't lift up your arm try and lift up your arm as if you want to wave i can't do that oh it's pulling me down we better go back into the sh ship explore this oh my goodness how would you oh how would you even go oh it's really hard it's so heavy i feel so heavy let's go back into the spaceship let's go step and step it's so tiring oh and let's go back in oh thank goodness we're back now let's put our helmet on strap in and let's count down are you ready for the countdown we're gonna go from three two one blast off space oh and what other planet are we gonna land on that one looks interesting. No, 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 I don't like that one. They're too hot. What about that one? Oh, wow. And what's that one? Let's land on that one. It's all pink and purple. A rainbow planet. Let's go for landing. Woo! Unstrap. Helmet off. And let's go exploring. You might want to take... I think we can all breathe. We've got magic powers. Remember, we're clouds and we can do anything. We can breathe anywhere. All right, let's go. Jump in. Whoa. Oh wow. This one is with no gravity. And wow. Whoa. Be careful. Be careful. Okay, you're gonna floating off. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, hold on to things. I'm gonna grab this this chair. Oh, hold on. And because otherwise I'm gonna go flying into the space. I don't wanna float off. Whoa, don't let go. See it's pulling me up. Whoa. Can is it pulling you up? Careful, don't fly off, don't float away. Go hold on to something quickly. Hold on to anything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, holding on. There's a yes. Oh, let's get back into the ship. We don't wanna float away. Oh, close the door. Whoa. We nearly floated away from the ship. How would we get home? Now let's sit down. Helmet. It's a big one like astronauts strap in and which way are we gonna go now oh maybe we go that way and three two one blast off whoa yay uh, uh, come on star uh, oh flying what space oh how beautiful it is stars everywhere can you see the stars and the milky way and there's moons wow this planet looks interesting. Let's go in for a landing and ooh, wow, let's go exploring. What's this one gonna be like? <gasps> Open the door. Oh wow. It's a slow motion plan. makes you really slow whoa I can't even move I think we better go home let's go back into the space oh close the door oh close whoa that was so slow i could not stand to be so slow how about one more stop what stop could that be okay let's see and strap in oh we forgot helmet helmet and three two one blast off all the way straight up straight up straight up straight up straight up and whoa floating flying 
Whoa, that one looks interesting. It's got, oh, I can see a lot of fireworks. Let's go right in. Let's unstrap, helmet off, and in we go into the unknown. Wow, a dragon and a witch and a fairy. It's a fairy tale planet. And look at me. I am a princess now. <laughs> Hello. And now I am an ogre. See, this is a planet where you can be whatever you want to be. Wow, how cool is that? What are you now? Are you a princess? A knight on a horse? A race driver? Oh, a tennis player? That's a strange fairy tale character, but why not? You can be anything you want. You can be Snow White. You can be Cinderella. You can be Shrek. I like Shrek or the donkey. You can be anything you want. I am... Who's my favorite, favorite character? I like Clifford the Big Red Dog. I look a little bit like Clifford with this, see? <laughs> and he's a bit clumsy. All right, uh, guess what, guess what, guess what? We need to go back home. Mums and dads are waiting, so let's go back into the ship. Close the door, lock it, strap in, strap in, helmet. And three, two, one, blast off! Straight for your living room, going home, landing. Are we ready? Are you copying? Earth, Earth, copying, coming home for landing. Boom, here we are, back home. What fun, what adventure. Why don't you try and go exploring and create your own planet? It could be hot, it could be cold, it could be a cupcake planet, it could be a slime planet. Some people, some kids like slime. I don't, it's too sticky. Anyway, have a fun. It was so much fun for me to be with you and I'll see you sometime soon. So this is Luna, out. Bye. Hi, how are you? It's Fairy Floss and her magic friend. How have you been, guys? Have you been having lots and lots of fabulous adventures in the world of poetry and books? Well, I certainly hope so. And guess what? Today is our last yes. session. Yes. I know session number eight. But that's okay, because guess what? We might come back again. Now, how about we remember all the fabulous things we've done? For example, we have done lots and lots of exciting things with rhyme. What is a rhyme? Can you remember? No. Oh, come on. You're, you're pranking me. You're a prankster, aren't you? Oh, okay. Tell me, what is a rhyme? When I words... Guess, I don't know. When words sound... The same sound the same can we have a rhyming challenge how about what rhymes with tall because i am tall tall ball tall. and tall. what else Mall. and call tall call ball mall. mall when you go to the shopping mall and stall and wall all those things that's pretty cool what about what else what rhymes with yes Cup. What rhymes with cup? Cup. Up. Mop. Top. Cup. Mop. Mop. What's mop? Sup. <laughs> What's up? That's pretty cool. And what else can we rhyme with? What about um, hot? Something is hot. 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 Not. Cot. Cot. And lot. Um, A lot of fun. That is pretty cool. Yes. How about sink? Like think. Sink. Or sink as in you wash your hands. Yes. Wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Sink. Ink. Pink. Rink. Wink. There are a lot of words. Sink. Wink. Wink. Yeah, you wink at someone. Yes. And how about we try a rhyme, a poem. How all oh, about yourself. Because you can tell someone about yourself through poetry. Did you know that? There is, you can write a poem that's called a prostic. And you write your name down the page, right? And then you start each line with the letter on that line. So if I went with fairy, 
floss. The first would be fairy. So I could say fantastic, fabulous, flying fairy floss. And the next one would be I. So, oh, actually, no, not I. That would be fairy. <laughs> A. So what would be A? Maybe amazing. Yes. A for apple. A for apple. Amazing apple eating fairy. Yeah. S. And then no, not not S. Next would be I. I for incredible, imaginative, individual. R. What's R stand for? Royal, regal. I pick S. R. 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 Can you go? Did you know that's a really hard sound? That's pretty cool. All right, let, I don't have to finish my name. You can do that at home or you can do one for your mum. You can write mum or mummy down the page and write something fabulous about your mum. If you have a grandma and you don't Or a grandma, it. yes. Now, I want to do a poem. It's called All About Me and about your name. Do you want to repeat after me? You want to remember that one? It's called Everybody Has a Name. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Everybody mm -hmm. has a name. name. So we need to say that. So everybody has a name. Some are different, some the same. Some are short and some are long. All are right and none are wrong. I like my name. It's special to me. It's exactly who I want to be. I want to be fairy floss. I want to be Kitty floss. No. I'm berry floss. No. I don't know what other floss is going to be. Oh, I don't. Linda. Linda. Linda floss. All right. I'm going to do it again. Let's do it again one Just more time. Linda. Just Linda. Okay. Now, let's get it. Steady. Ready? Steady. Go. go. I like my name. name. It's special, special to me. me. Oh, we started with the end. <laughs> it is cool, right? Now, everybody Three. has a name. name. Some are different, some the same. Good girl. All are right Good. and none, none are, are wrong. wrong. Some are and short some and some, some are long. long. I like my and name. It's, it's special, special to, to me. me. It's, it's exactly who I, I want, want to, to be. be. Who do you want to be? Hmm. Maybe, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be? Uh, body part. What would you like to be? I don't know. An actor? No. A dancer? No. A police officer? No. No? What I want would... to work at a doggy shop. A doggy shop? That is a cool one. What do doggy shop people do? Do you, do you sell them or you want to be a doctor? A vet, they're called. Vet, it's no. actually a really yeah. hard word. Can you say veterinarian? I want to be actually... A I veterinarian? No. no? I sell dogs. You want to sell dogs? Mm -hmm. Oh. And um, when I come back from the work, I can give, I will bring one home. Oh, and what do you guys want to be? Do you want to be veterinarians? Yeah. Do you want to be teachers? Teachers? Do you want to be a fairy? Who wants to be a fairy? Not me. No, no. All right. Well, you don't want to be a fairy. I feel like being a bat. A bat. Oh, well, that's good. Bat. What rhymes mm -hmm. with that? Cat? Hat? Because I can hang on the swing upside down with no hands. That's pretty cool. How about we read? Actually, we've got a fabulous book to read because that is quite appropriate. Bats, um, their bats are in the Australian bush. Can I have the book, please, Linda? We have a fabulous book today. It is such a cool book. It is called Bushland Lullaby, right? Let's get closer. I'm going to go closer and we're going to read it. It's a fabulous book. Yeah. In it's the birthday. Yes, it was Linda's birthday. In the sunlight, gully, green and wide, where secret nooks are fine to hide, in a soft and grassy, snuggly nest, little bandicoot, comes to rest. Can you see the little bandicoot? Whoa, I'm tiny. Cold. Well, I'll show you. See, that's a tiny little bandicoot. Mm. Snuck in the hollow of an old gum tree when the morning light is blithe to see. Asleep in a gently snoozing ball, little possums soft and small 
tiny little possum. You see him there? Him or her? Could be a girl, could be a boy. We don't know. We like girls. We like, yes, we're a girl, so we go for girls. All right. In a merry creek where the currents run, where eddies dance with winking sun, curled up in a burrow so safe and deep, little platypus. Lies asleep. Sleep. Baby platypus right there. And there's mom. And you know, there's this little trick in there that I really like. It's called personification. It's a long word, a funny word, but it's when you say something has human characteristics, even though it's not a human, it's not a person. See, it says, where Eddie's dance with winking sun. Does the sun wink? No, no. but we can say that because it sounds but really people nice. Can wink. People can wink, but sun, when the sun winks, it probably means that, you know, when the shadows Ooh. go over, oh, that's a cool picture. Are you ready to see it? Are we ready to see it? All right, show them. Ready, One. set, go. Ready, set, go. <gasps> Look at this croc. Crocodile. Croc, croc, croc. Show me a croc. Croc. Snap, 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 snap. Awesome. Huh? Oh, scary. There in a tropical mangrove stand where salty mud is warm as sand. In hushing waters by the river's smile. <gasps> Don't wake, little crocodile. It's still cute. It's a baby croc. Yeah, sometimes they're scary sometimes. Sometimes they're scary. You don't come close to crocodiles. Never, no. ever. No, not in the zoo. No. Oh, look. On the scribbly trunk of a leaning tree. So still, so quiet. He's hard to see. In the place he thinks is bushland's best. Little iguana clings to rest. See, it's resting on a tree, and this they're camouflaging, aren't they? That's called camouflage when they're hiding. <gasps> oh, this one's cute. There's a lonely island in the sea where breakers sing when the wind blows free. In a pebbled nest out of water's reach, little seagulls on the beach. It's a seagull. And be careful when you're eating food on the beach, the seagulls can get a little, little annoying and they come snap at your food. Don't they go snap, 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 snap. Oh, this one's cute. Ah, I like these. On the shivering island, clad with snow, where the ocean Penguin. kisses, Penguin. icy flows. In a stony nest with her mother closed, little penguin may safely doze. Beautiful. It's so cute. I like penguins. I, I like wolves. <gasps> oh, yeah, we like wolves too. We're wolves. Can we howl like a wolf? Just one on three. One, two, three. Howl! What happened? <laughs> okay. In the. Oh! All right. In the wattle grove under dappled skies, when the drifting clouds fly soft and high. Through the afternoon of restful hours, little wallaby comes to drowse. Look at the baby wallaby. They are so cute. Where are they? They are hiding with mummy. And I call them cute. Oh, well, they baby. look similar. <gasps> this is cute. Down in the bush where the gum trees thrive. Why? Where the lazy breeze brings Why? scents alive. And the lofty fork of an ancient tree, little koala goes to sleep snuggled up with mummy do you snuggle up with your mummy sometimes yeah. yes no he's snuggled up i like snuggling up like it's nice especially when it gets cold <gasps> burrowed into an earthy mound in the summer day when the sun bakes down in a twisty tunnel and cozy bed little wombat rests his head see the wombat baby with her mummy oh it's so cute they are so beautiful. Oh, this was you. Look, that's you. Hung like fruit it's in a not, tropical park. Not, you you, well, you said you were a bat. bat. It's a bat. It's not a bat. It is a bat. Look, listen but to this. Bat. In bundles, strangely <laughs> plump and dark, when the sunset spink and the crickets zings, little fruit bats wrapped in wings. They're fruit bats. I'm like a fruit bat because I love fruit. I hate fruit. I, that's why I am... So healthy and strong. On the windy plain beyond the town, where grass grows rough and rustling brown, the sun gives way to cool moonbeams and little emus chasing dreams. See the emus? You know, the big emus scare me a little bit. They can chase you. They're a bit scary. And fast. And they are very fast, actually. <gasps> ah, look at this. This is our favorite, though. Werewolf. Nope, that's not a werewolf. 
in the wild red desert where the sun's alight or the sky flings stars in a winter's night in the shade of a rock pile's ancient calm little dingoes safe from harm see the little dingo there with her mummy oh yeah little dingo oh that's pretty cool there <gasps> under sparkling skies by friendly seas in your own backyard by the rivers and the trees think of this when it's time for bed it's not time for bed yet but when you are going to bed <coughs> you're not the only sleepy head <coughs> Wait, a lot of people are sleeping did you like this that's such a gorgeous book i really like it i might read it again i might keep it by my bedside and read it again it's well guess my book. that's your book i know can i borrow it maybe Fine. well that's all for, guys that's all for now but we'll see you again, I am sure. But don't forget, keep rhyming, keep reading, keep making up stories. We always love new stories. How do we write stories? Remember, there's some... I can write dog and Barbie. Yes, and you know how we make up stories? We need to tell the people what it's all about. And we need a problem. Yes, we need some problem. Maybe a doggy gets lost. And then we need... No, no, no. no, no. That's too sad, isn't it? Yeah. And then we need a good ending. Where it, where it, it goes all... Me, my, yeah, it, it reminds me of old Jerry. Yeah, if our doggy. But you know what? There's always a good end. We always like good mm. stories with good, positive endings. So happy ending and happy reading and happy rhyming. Say bye-bye.